Uh, yeah, yeah, what up, world? Peso here. Um, I wasn't going to talk about this. I really wasn't. Um, you know, I'm old school in the nature of, I believe in leaving street shit in the streets. Um, but you know, I feel like this is a valuable learning lesson, this situation. It's a valuable learning lesson for a lot of people and a lot of things in life. So, um, I'm going to chop it up, man. Um, first of all, you know, obviously all this Takashi shit is public record at this point. Um, it ain't no secret trial. I think it has commenced at this point. I'm not sure. I think it did commence. Um, most of his co-dependents copped out. Copped out meaning they uh they agreed to plead guilty for a lesser sentence to not go to trial. That's what copping out means. Um, but a couple of them did stand trial. And um, got ugly, man. It got ugly. That boy got up on that stand and woo, he's worse than Nino Brown. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that nigga got up, that little nigga got up there and was like, yo, if I go down, a lot of people going down with me. But, you know, um, it's unfortunate, man. But, you know, a couple of things I wanted to uh, talk on when, when it came to that, man. You know, first and foremost, you know, sometimes as a man, you got to be more mad at the position you put yourself in than what somebody else did to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, them niggas pretty much sacrificed their integrity and what they claim to, st to stand for for a dollar, for for notoriety, for fame, for, as the little niggas say, clout, whatever you want to call it. They sacrificed what they stood for and their integrity for that. And I ain't going to say they sacrificed their morals and principles because, you know, that's a individual thing. You know, morals and principles is, is a case-by-case -case basis. And I don't know these none of these niggas personally to speak on their morals and principles or e if they even have them. But... They definitely sacrificed the integrity and what they stood for. Um, you know, coming from the streets, you don't just accept a nigga because they could do something for you for the moment. You know what I mean? Like, because then you end up in an exact situation like this where niggas on the stand pointing the finger at you when shit get real. Um, unfortunately, man, there's a lot of people that's co-signing this shit, yo. Like, there's a lot of people that's, like, trying to justify. You can't justify no shit like this. You can't justify sucker shit. Now, let's get into snitching. I'm going to give a quick little overview of what snitching is. I'm going to make this fast and, and plain and simple. Snitching only applies to street shit and underworld activities and illegal activities. It don't apply to the ordinary Joe Smo who goes to work, who goes to school, it don't apply to the local lunch lady at the elementary school. It don't apply to the mailman. It don't apply to the postal worker. It only applies to people who sign up for street shit. In the case of Takashi 69, he's a grown man who voluntarily signed up for street shit. Not only did he sign up for it, he repped it. He antagonized a lot of street niggas along the way. And... You know, he claimed to be something he wasn't. And that's what makes snitching morally wrong. It makes it morally wrong for you to voluntarily sign up for something that you know could lead to them boys knocking at your door and then you tell when they get there. That's what makes snitching wrong. And then honestly, if you a citizen, I don't expect you to understand that. But if you come from the curb, then you get, then you should get exactly what I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot of like this new generation of niggas and people try to twist and and bounce around and try to like finagle or finesse, you know, traditional rules. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like it, you know, what's understood don't need to be said. You know what I mean? So, but you know, you got this this this, this internet error that tries to flip it and bounce it. And, 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 you know, try to turn it into something that's not, man. Ratting is ratting. Telling is telling. Snitching is snitching. Period. Like, uh, there's, there's not even an argument to be had when it comes to that. But okay, cool. You know what I mean? That's what the young nigga decided to do. His choice, obviously. You know what I mean? You stay in that, you stay in that double digit years, of course. You know what I mean? Who, who the fuck wants to do 25, 30, 40 years? You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, as a man, you stand on what you signed up for. Period. If I walk into a bank with my man, we sit and plot and plan to rob a bank. Me and my man, we sign up for everything that comes with that. If I get caught and my man don't, and I tell on my man, that's snitching. That's right. You know what I mean? 
And you know, I don't even like to get too deep into to, to the honorable part of it because honor is a very, man, listen, a lot of people, majority of society today don't have no honor. So I don't even like to talk about honor. Like 90, 90 to 95% of people today don't have no honor. That's just the world we live in. I'm not mad, I'm not upset, I'm not angry. It's just the fucking truth, you know what I mean? Um, but that's what it is. So, you know, young boy got up on that stand, told a lot of stories. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a situation where it, it comes down to something we see every day. And that's just niggas not being themselves, man. You know, a nigga, the Takashi nigga tried to portray something he wasn't. He tried to be something he wasn't. And this is the end result of that. You know what I mean? And honestly, them niggas really got to blame themselves for even trying to co-sign that shit. You know what I mean? Because you can look at that nigga. And you know, you, you don't judge a book by uh, its cover. You don't know what a nigga capable of at the end of the day. Well, I mean, shit, from my experience and my, all my years walking walking the curb out here, you can look at that nigga and tell he not half of what he trying to be. You can, you can see it in his eyes. He not half of what he trying to be. But I get it. He has some solid niggas behind him that was willing to stamp it and co-sign it, so he ran with it. But at the end of the day, we saw what happened with that, man. Um, I'm not going to lie. Thoroughly going through, you know, the court transcripts and all of the stuff that was put out there and, and um, you know, the, the wiretap evidence and all of that shit. A little bit of me, like, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. I'm far from it. But a little bit of me, like, sort of feels like this nigga was a federal agent the whole time. Because, you know, he didn't take down no Joe Schmo niggas. He took down the top of the top out there in Brooklyn, at least. Like, these niggas had been under investigation for years. These, this, this, like, this, they, they had been looking for something to stick on these niggas for years. And then the Zakashi nigga came along and gave them the concrete evidence they needed to put the niggas that they been wanted away for a while. So that, that part of me feels like, yo, this nigga might have been a fed the whole time. But the realistic side of me says that's not accurate because it's like you can't force the music. Like, you, Takashi's music was undeniable. Like, you can't force that. Like, the shit was hitting, niggas was fucking with it. I mean, you can't, you, you, you can't force billions and billions of views that this kid had. You can't, a federal agent can't put the talent into the nigga. A federal agent can't put 3,000 people at a festival to, to, to jump around and cheer and go crazy for this nigga. So, if it wasn't for the music side of it, like, that's authentic. Like, that can't be fake. Like, you can't fake that. You can't fake the talent part. Like, the kid is talented. You can't fake that. The, uh, the feds can't put that in you. So, if it wasn't for that part of it, I truly believe that that nigga was a fed the whole time. But, you know, the music was undeniable. Niggas was fucking with it. Um, something I do want to clear up, though, I don't feel like the city got behind it in terms of New York City. You know what I mean? Like, outside looking in, it might seem that way but the city definitely didn't get behind it you know who got behind it in the town was the the wave riders those was the people that was really fucking with it like gummo first came out was i fucking with it yeah it was dope it was cool it was it was ignorant it was catchy it was something the little niggas to sing along to so i was like yeah this is definitely gonna go this is gonna fly you know what i mean and it took off but the wave riders really like got behind him and was like, yo, this is the guy and this blah, blah, blah. It wasn't the talent. The talent wasn't co-signing that nigga. You understand what I'm saying? That it, every like certified nigga in the town really had one eye open when it came to that kid. Because something always seemed fishy about him. It always seemed forced. It always seemed like a facade. Like it always seemed unreal. You know what I mean? So, you know, but the, the wave riders who need them clicks and need them likes and, and want to be in the spotlight and want to be on the gram and take pictures and all that shit, them niggas was the niggas you seen that was really rocking with it. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't the town. Trust me, the town definitely wasn't behind that nigga. You know what I mean? So let's make that clear. Um, but you know, it was, it was, um, it was definitely a learning lesson for something I've been saying for years now and something I've been seeing for years now. And it comes to a very simple thing, man. Be yourself, yo. Like, look at that kid and understand what not being yourself gets you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that kid would have been much better off if he would have simply just did his raps, did his music, went into the studio, got on the verses, I mean, got on the beats, and did his thing without all of the extra fake fraud shit. He didn't have to pick up them red rags and run around telling niggas to suck his dick and be in the streets antagonizing niggas and all. He didn't have to do none of that to do music. You understand what I'm saying? 
Like, be yourself, man. And that's honestly what's getting a lot of niggas hurt and killed out here in these streets now is niggas simply trying to be what they not. Like, every nigga nowadays want to be everything. Like, niggas want to be a pretty boy. Niggas want to be a ladies man. Niggas want to be a gangster, a thug. Niggas want to be a volunteer firefighter. Niggas want to be a legal aid. Like, niggas want to be all of that all at the same time. Like, dog, be you, man. Being you will get you a lot further and give you more peace in your life than being something you not ever will, man. That's what's getting niggas hurt. And you know what's causing the majority of snitching nowadays is niggas simply being something they're not. You understand what I'm saying? That's what's causing the majority of the telling out here because niggas, every nigga out here talk that G shit and some alphabet boys come knocking at your door and then, then, then yeah, then shit is real. You ain't willing to do them 10, 15 years no more. You willing to say whatever you need to say to get about that case. You understand what I'm saying? That's why snitching occurs from niggas simply being everything that they not. Like niggas is not half of what they claim to be. And this situation is a perfect example of that. That's the only reason why I'm even speaking on it because I feel like this was a valuable lesson for society, especially for the young youth coming up today to see. Look at Takashi 69 and that'll show you what not being you will get you. You understand what I'm saying? Real shit, man. And, and, and it's unfortunate for the for the families and, and the kids of, of, the, of the niggas involved because at the end of the day, they, they straight up got swindled. They straight up got swindled. You understand what I'm saying? They straight up thought this was a money play that was going to lead to something, and it, and it didn't. You can't get behind fake shit and expect anything real. It's just not going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, straight up and down. It's just not going to happen, man. And, um, you know, I don't wish that type of situation on no nigga. I like to see street niggas winning. But you got to play smart, man. You definitely got to play smart. You can't be willing to sacrifice your integrity for a dollar. You can't be willing to sacrifice what you stand for for, for Instagram likes and, and, and YouTube views and all that shit. It, it's just not going to be conducive to anything positive at in the long run. When you think about that Takashi run, it was short. That shit was only like eight months, maybe a year the most. And I'm talking about from the time like Gummo really took off, his run wasn't that long. Like, is eight months... Is an eight-month run worth 15 years in jail? Like, you really got to think about that, man. Stop trying to get everything fast, man. That 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 long hustle, man, it, it gets you way further ahead, man. Trust me, yo. And and being genuine and authentic will get you, like, being, like, seriously, being who you are, way more peaceful in life than anything or than the fake shit. Like, the fake shit only looks good on these phones and on these apps. That's the only place the fake shit look good at. On the concrete in the real world, that should have you out here losing sleep, man. So, um, you know, that's just my thoughts, man. I, I could go on and on about the situation because this is a situation I saw coming from from the gate. Like, I, if niggas would have asked me a year ago how this Takashi shit was gonna end, I, I could have told you, cause you could have see, like, you could see where it was going. Like, you could look at it and be like, yeah, this ain't gonna end well for him or for them niggas involved. Like, you firing off shots in a Barclays Center? Nigga, you gonna have some people asking questions. Like, come on, man. Niggas gotta be smart, yo, because these, these, these niggas is not playing. They're dumb, dumb, dumb courtrooms is not playing with niggas no more. Niggas is seeing, seeing double-digit numbers off of, off of bullshit. So, you know, like I said, I don't want to keep rambling on, man. So, um, learn from this. For real, for real. Learn from this, man. Be you. That's my ultimate point in this vid. Be you. Be who you are. And, um, trust me, man. It'll be more conducive to just living a more a, a blissful life, yo. Urban Collection. You know what I mean? Sweaters, hoodies. That fall coming. It's about to get chilly out here in these streets. Hit me up. Kyle one at Urban Collection. You know, Instagram or just straight up DM me. Got a lot of things coming up there. So Cosmopolitan and Diva. Get you a bottle. I got them on deck. Hit me if you want one. All flavors. Melon, berry, plain, and strawberry mint. All right. So, well, that's my two cents nobody asked for. Catch you on the next one.